Hello guys, welcome to the channel Rad here from Rad Tarot and this is going to be Taurus Sun, Taurus Moon and uh, Taurus Rising weekly tarot reading for March 4th to March 10th, 2019. And as per usual, um, as I'm shuffling the, the cards, the traditional reader weight uh, tarot deck by the way, I want to remind you once again that this is going to be a, a general reading for Taurus star sign and for that reason it's going to resonate in a different way and in a different level with every single different uh, Taurus. <clears throat> so uh, in this video, I will try my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and as well, you know, their synergy in the spread. But ultimately at the end, you will have to connect this general reading with your personal situation to make the reading more personal. Or if you want a, an ultimate personal touch uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed down below in the description of uh, this video. And there you can find a, a full list of my services, as well as uh, their pricing. And that is for private readings, of course. And in this, uh, as in these private readings, excuse me, uh, we are going to discuss your personal uh, situation. And I'm going to anal analyze your personal situation through the uh, tarot cards. So uh, cutting now the deck and let's see what we got for you Tauruses. So the first card is going to be about the topic of your week and that is to be the Eight of Wands. Followed by the second card which is going to be about the negative approach you can take toward the week itself that is going to be the Moon card. Followed by the third one, which is the positive approach you can make toward the week. This is going to be the Magician card. And the last one, that it is the uh, final outcome of growth. Should you follow the guidance of Tarot, this is going to be the Ten of uh, Wands. So once again, Eight of Wands, followed by the Moon card. Then it is the Magician. And the last one, uh, that is going to be uh, the... 10 of wands. All right, so um, uh, for what it seems, Taurus, is this is going to be quite of a, a busy week. And uh, if you are bored from your routine, you are bored from your daily uh, enterprises and so on and so forth, the variety really is going to come and infiltrate your, um, your life. And it's just is going to get as good as it can throughout this week. Uh, for what it seems, there will be many opportunities for you to make your life much more exciting throughout the week itself. That is displayed here with the Eight of Wands. And literally this card talks about speed, speed in a sense of that your routine, daily routine is going to accelerate here throughout the week. Also, the Eight of Wands is all about numerous, uh, maybe petite, and even for some trifling opportunities here and there coming around for you to take advantage of, you know, and to make your uh, to make your daily routine more exciting and so on and so forth. But what you need to know with the Eight of Wands is that this card is high risk, high reward type of thing. So it's a very important. Um, as soon as you kind of like stumble upon a exciting enterprise, exciting opportunity, or in generally exciting endeavor, you can you can kind of like incorporate yourself, your skills, your time, and so on and so forth in either a new person that you want to date or a new project or career. It will be very important to uh, approach the situation itself with a great amount of calculation. So kind of like think twice before you act. Because as much as the 10 of, uh, not the 10, but the 8 of Wands can skyrocket you to extreme heights, it could deprive you from everything as well. So you need to be rather smart when you take advantage or rather um, act on those uh, varieties and those opportunities which are coming around in your daily routine in the week of March 4th to March 10th. 2019. Also, the Eight of Wands is about the brilliance of the mind, which means that whatever you do throughout the week, do it creatively, guys, okay? Just find your way to express yourself. A very favorable card for, uh, for musicians, for example, writers, basically people of art, people who does not follow a certain code of conduct, 
but their job or their relationships are constant surprises, if I may express myself that way, or they are, these people are establishing the rules of their routine. So try to experience something, something amazing, something that you didn't experienced until this very moment. This is what I'm trying to say. The accompanied card, that is going to be the star card. And what we do have here is active friends, which means that one of those versatilities, one of those varieties is going to give you the prerequisites to build up a, a thing in your life that it is for a, a very, very long run, not to mention it could be for a lifetime. Just to give you an example, and this is an example, let's say you're single, right? And you don't have anybody in mind right now around you, but throughout the week you get introduced to a specific person or to multiple people, that is, let's say you enter into a new social circle and you get introduced to multiple people. All, almost all of these people are finding you attractive, they're finding you enthralling and so on and so forth. And they try to basically establish better communication, better connection and a better empathizement with you. Well, one of these people, it is someone that you can go for a long run. So one of these opportunities, it's, it is an opportunity. It is a wish come true. It is a, a turning point in your life. It is a something that you should look forward to. But as with the Eight of Wands, the star card also asks you to have that ego eye, if I may express myself that way, to have the capability to lift yourself above the situation and really try to foresee how long or what is the potential of this uh, new opportunity. Uh, to be honest, I was a bit baffled with the magician when I drew the cards, but now it makes perfect sense because the magician is also a, about making calculative moves and you gotta do so. So how you can um, scope this opportunity for yourself? Well, first of all, this opportunity is gonna end up a uh, era of a turmoil for you in a sense of that wherever you are, you are feeling despondent, it is basically at that field of your life where this opportunity, it is worth exploring. And further to that, it will be an opportunity which there will be someone or multiple people there to support you through your development. So you're not going to be alone in it. Meaning of which, if this is about intimate interaction, you will be uh, the partner or rather like the other person is going to be willing to invest just as much as you do. Or if we're talking about a, a project into, into your career, your boss, your supervisor and your colleagues are willing to support you through that uh, project. So really, really crazy stuff are coming for you, Tauruses. You just, guys, you gotta be open for everything new that comes around. Explore it, you know, but that doesn't mean you have to invest in it. So first explore, analyze, and make your research before you actually invest into any of those, um, of those opportunities. Because just like I said, I cannot stress you that enough. It's high risk, high reward. So it will be best if you make your risk wisely instead of foolishly. So the next card that we do have for you guys, that is the negative approach toward the situation. We do have the moon card here and it's really only one thing that the moon card says and that is about the fear. Just because you cannot see toward what end this opportunity is to unfold uh, straight away at me. Um, I mean, I mean, um, you know, the opportunity arises and you're not sure how it's gonna end and so on and so forth. And that kind of deprives you from investing into it. Because the moon card is about insecurity, it is about daydreaming, and uh, it is also a, about gossips here and there. So it will be very important if you don't listen to many people around you, but only listen to those which are faithful companions. It's not a good card for those which opinions of others does matter. Because there are such people that um, the opinions of those around them matter more than the opinions, than the opinion of themselves. So with the moon card, uh, basically what the moon card asks you here is, here is not to deviate from the awesome opportunity, all right? And they, despite of that, it may seem a bit risky at the start because as I said, it's gonna be a high risk, high reward thing. 
um, you should kind of like invest into it. But once again, only into that opportunity that you have researched uh, extensively. And it is something that it gives you a thing to look forward to. It's very difficult to explain because the moon card is very abstract. It's very broad and it suffuse over everything in your life. And basically what the cards asks you here is to overcome the sense of insecurity of yourself and just make your move, all right? The accompanied card that is going to be the Four of Cups and you definitely need to make a move with the Four of Cups because if you can see here, we do have an, an passive supporters and I can understand you Tauruses that you may have the affinity to stick to the secure thing, all right? but sticking to the secure thing is going to deprive you from taking the awesome opportunity coming to you guys. Um, and that awesome opportunity will be one among many of others, all right? Many of others opportunities. So with the Four of Cups here, as you can see, the person is, uh, is sitting rather um, unwilling to see on the new opportunity, the new cup that it is presented from, uh, to him, and as the presentation comes from a cloud, the cloud in Taro is a symbol of um, first vagueness because the cloud, the clouds kind of like blocks the sunlight and the sun is uh, the symbol of uh, revealance, of clarity and so on and so forth. And also the cloud is a symbol of uh, not exactly problems, but let's say storm. So this field, uh, it will it will not be without any problems, all right? There will be some issues that you need to resolve before you actually take, um, start, not take, but rather uh, start consuming the fruits of your labor regarding that opportunity. But with the, the, the Four of Cups, basically this card urges you to make an effort to step outside, it's not even a comfort zone, but to overcome a, the, the fear of vagueness or rather like the, inse the, the state of insecurity and um, to provoke, it's basically these cards are asking you to provoke a change and change cannot be provoked uh, if you do the same thing over and over again. So basically you have to do something different either toward the person you want to date or toward the project that you are uh, that you are trying to develop at this very point don't you worry you don't have to you know figure it out on your own like i said the opportunity is going to present itself as a matter of fact with these cards uh, it's going to present itself numerous times in many different gazes as well it all comes to that can you overcome the sense of once again insecurity and act upon one of those opportunities or do you prefer someone else to do that for you uh, or for themselves because you are not going to be recognized if someone else do what you are supposed to do. So long story short guys, uh, you need to stand up and do something to improve your circumstances as the prerequisites are going to be in present throughout the week and if you end up in the same one second guys i'm sorry if you end up in the same position as you are right now that is because you failed to act upon uh, this opportunity one second guys i gotta send uh, a message Right, so the next card that we do have for you, this is going to be uh, the Magician card. And that is the appropriate actions toward the situation. So first of all, big amounts of confidence. That is about the Magician. Even if you have a little clue how you proceed further with, uh, with your things, you have to exert that state of confidence that even if you don't know right now what to do, you are confident that you're going to figure it out. Second of all, a huge amount of sovereignty, which means that you should not allow anybody to tell you what to do um, if you don't like to do it in a sense of that, you know, if we're talking about a project of yours, you want to do it one way, your colleague is wanting you to do it other way around. 
All right, so you should completely neglect what your colleague is telling you and do it your way around. The thing with the magician is that whenever you act either upon a relationship or either upon a, a career endeavor, your actions need to be supported with huge determination. Basically, you need to look confident in what you are doing. And above everything else, use your communicational skills talk about it. When you face difficulty, talk about it. When you kind of seize that opportunity, but something looks very vague about, uh, about that opportunity itself, and yet other people are involved in it, talk with those people. Don't daydream. Just if you have something that you want to ask, ask. If you have something that you have to negotiate about, negotiate about. Do not be hesitant to open your mouth. That is what I'm trying to say with the magician card. Um, the magician itself uh, is saying that uh, not many people, if at all there will be such people around you that is going to create you any obstacles, just on the contrary, people are to support you, they are gonna become your followers as well, and uh, people, especially career-wise that is, are going to admire you. One thing very important regarding personal relationships with the magician is that you should present exactly as one is. What I mean here is that if there is someone there to like you, it's gonna like you for what you are and not for what they want you to be. That is very, very important for the magician card. <clears throat> so that being said, with, uh, with what you need to incorporate into, this, uh, into these endeavors is just be yourself. It's, it's all that matters, all right? The accompanied card with, to the magician that is going to be uh, the justice and uh, basically what these cards are, uh, they are active supporters. So the justice adds a shade here not to walk away from responsibility, which means that some of the responsibilities are gonna look very difficult and very heavy and as well very time consuming. That is very important also to be acknowledged. But um, when the structure of your endeavor, either relationship wise or career wise comes around, you need to have a huge sense of discernment. You have to be able to scope and to scale the responsibilities in it and to arrange them in a, such a way that you start from the smallest to the highest or to the largest one of them. With the justice, it's, um, it's important to create a certain balance and to take things one step at a time instead of trying to finish everything over a night. Also, if we're talking about interactions here with people, it will be important as well to create certain boundaries in between you and that person. Either this is going to be a relationship or not, just like we said with the magician, personal sovereignty, which means that there are fields in your life or there is personal space that no one can and should infiltrate. And if we're talking about a just forming type of relationship here, uh, as soon as this relationship starts, starts to form, then you have to make it clear to these people that uh, basically they cannot trespass certain boundaries. That goes as well with your, um, with your career either. It's basically what these cards are pointing here is, is that you need to know how much you're worth, all right? And you, how can I place it? You may be undervalued by, by certain people, but uh, as you show your integrity, your sovereignty, iron will throughout the week, and the agility and the subtlety to take on a, a varieties of opportunities and to develop them, to develop them, the very least you're gonna prove these people wrong. By the way, now that I'm thinking about, uh, it's a very potent week for promotion. Uh, just to lay you out that example, you want to chase a certain promotion into your career, but uh, you don't have the opportunity to do so. Well, there you go. This week, you're going to have it. It's just, you know, it will involve some um, courageous actions from your behalf. It's going to be a risky move. It's going to be a risky maneuver. But should you um, have the guts to take it and not to be afraid of that, you know, 
you may have to work extra and you will have to take a certain responsibilities and so on and so forth you will be able to give your personal expression your personal signature in it which is going to be liked by your supervisors by your bosses and you're one step closer to the uh, to the promotion so last card that we do have for you Taurus is this is going to be the 10 of wands which is the final outcome of growth should you follow the guidance of tarot which means that if you are not petrified by the sense of insecurity and if you actually take the matters in your own hands do the courageous actions to improve your personal circumstances by taking on this risky um, opportunity then this what this card is pointing is that uh, well Ten of Wands, uh, many people is interpreting, are interpreting this card as a uh, overburdening. While that is true, uh, also if falls into a position of growth, it means that one is overburdened by an awesome undertaking. So basically, you will be, this card points that you are going to be completely devoured by developing this, um, this new enterprise and this new endeavor of yours. Uh, kind of maintaining the control uh, that the endeavor incorporates and the Ten of Wands is also a, a chase and strive for power. So this card gives you the power over your relationships, the power over your, or the authority over your uh, career endeavors as well. Basically, whatever you say goes with, uh, with the Ten of Wands, but with the Ten of Wands, it's also very important to acknowledge that you do have followers, as we said with the Magician card. You do have followers and these followers need to be pleased, so they are followers. You are going to have authority, but you should not be tyrannical. That is important thing. So when we talk about the Ten of Wands, you need to recognize uh, how to... Um, how can I place it? What was the English word here, guys? How to, I will use the word spread, how to spread your efforts. So basically you need to become efficient, okay? And uh, so that means that you should not be stubborn, stubborn over one strategy or over one project or over one responsibility or over one, yeah, over one agenda but be agile and be very adaptable so you can be very, very efficient. The uh, accompanied card that is going to be the 10, uh, the 10, the major arcana 10, which is the Wheel of Fortune here. We have an active supporters once again. So out of those toils that you do have here because you have to control everything. So these are toils, you know, uh, you you will be able to how can I place it to open a lot of windows for yourself and a lot of new opportunities from it so what we do have here is just taking one opportunity throughout the week developing it and seeing that it's kind of like a branch like a root so it kind of like forks itself into many many others other opportunities with the 10 of uh, with the wheel of fortune also it kind of points to a very very big business uh, throughout your uh, throughout your career so you're going to be very very busy developing that thing talking about relationships is going to be very amusing because there will be a lot of exciting things some of those things some of those enterprises into relationship are going to seem very very um, how can i place it they're going to seem to you kind of unnecessary to a point but if you kind of keep your mind open so you are going to see that those unnecessary enterprises are exactly what boosts up the passion and what is keeping up that relationship toward the positive uh, end. So that being said, uh, Taurus, this was your weekly tarot reading for um, March 4th to March 10th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And once again, this was a general reading for uh, Taurus star sign and for that reason in this video I tried to explain my I tried my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread but ultimately you gotta align it to your personal situation to make the reading more personal if you want 
me to do that for you or in other words to analyze your personal situation through tarot cards then that is a subject of a private reading and for such you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you can find full list of my services and their pricing. Rat signing out now, see you next time. Bye!